All right, guys, so now that we've talked about the importance of mentality and training, let's talk about how the pros play. Being pro at the game isn't all about mechanics, which is one thing a lot of players are stuck on right now. You know, a significant part of success in competitive Fortnite revolves around game knowledge. Knowledge, you know, knowing how the game works at a deeper level can be what gives you an advantage in game. Easily the biggest mistake an average player makes is that they don't value positioning enough. At all points in the game, man, whether it's the early, mid, or end game, positioning matters, and it matters a lot more than you might think, you know, especially when it comes to getting an advantage. The pros know this and they treat it as a vital part of their gameplay. So here are a few quick positioning tips for each part of the game that can really help you dominate players, even the better ones. During the early game, you wanna to look to start fights on natural high ground, like rooftops, for example. Like players are less likely to spot you and you're gonna have the high ground advantage once the fight starts. This can really give you guys the upper hand that is really needed to really get those important early game frags. You also need to make sure that you land on a chest or ride on a gun so you can win while contested. You know, during the mid game, placing yourself in the center of the zone will reduce the number of rotations and distance you need to travel. You just need to make sure that it's a safe position toward the center, not one where every player in the lobby has an angle just to spam you down. So look for an already existing structures or heels to really cover yourself with. During the end game, the high ground plays an important role in the outcome of the match. So taking and holding height keeps you safe, you know, just really opens up a bunch of kill opportunities for you. This is how a lot of top pros are able to consistently win matches. You know, they make it to the end game and then close out the match by taking control of height. What's important to note is how and when they go for height. First, you want to use some mobility to get into the optimal position, aka inside the safe zone or as close as possible to it. So the right time to do this is usually whenever the current height holders are forced to move. This is normally during the first 50-50 zone, you know, the one that's half in the storm, or the first moving zone. Once set up, okay, you deny the current height holders from moving in and just work on keeping your own height. You can also sneak up by just utilizing floppers and just making a sneaky storm play on the opposing height team. So in summary, guys, having the right mentality, training regimen, and play style are three attributes that really make pro players shine. And if you want to make it as a pro gamer someday, you're going to need a good combination of these traits. You know, always be willing to learn from your mistakes, guys. Like, don't just slip up on training because it's a necessary part of just keeping your abilities in working condition. Always be looking to improve your knowledge of the game because there's more to success and competitive than just having good mechanics. So utilize pro guys to become the best that you can be. And we really hope this video really helps you guys dominate the new season. Speaking of which, you can always check out the rest of our channel for more tips and tricks. Once again, this is your motivation guy, Keith Allen, who believes in you. I am your number one fan, man. So keep going. Don't ever quit. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll connect with you soon. You connect to me on my Instagram at your motivation guy. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.